Hi, this is Paul from paulbrabby.com. I wanted to make this video vlog on continuous um, trading opportunities with the XBRAC ALGO. Uh, I've chosen European um, Japanese Yen Forex pair as an example because I wanted to go through uh, the, the, the main support and resistance zone, short term support and resistance. When we get these uh, signals, when we're in between these main support and resistance zones in this range, trading that range um, sensibly making sure we've got enough risk to reward so first of all I'm just going to go to the 60 minute time frame and remind you that when we are day trading um, Forex and futures we have our main support the support and resistance zones that we put in and again on the discord groups I share those on a spreadsheet so what it looks like is it provides us ranges on the hourly and then when we go down to those smaller time frames, gives us those opportunities to trade between the zones, not into the zones. So then when we take that down to a smaller time frame, like the three minutes, we get lots of trading opportunities, but we should also look for short term support and resistance. And I've got those in purple here. If we look left here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six touches at this uh, resistance zone there and then when it comes back we've got another one here and then we got support here so this is a really strong short-term support and resistance the same with this one as well if I just take that left even more there's just loads and loads of support and resistance there um, so basically I've short the short-term support and resistance have given me that each sort of minute micro uh, framework if you like along with those big support and resistance zones. So over a two day period, we're taking this recent, um, you know, li this is the live price now. Uh, I'm going to go through each of these trade setups and discuss them. And obviously they all worked out uh, because we've got a great win rate. Uh, but you know, sometimes you wouldn't have taken them. So the first one is fantastic in that we get a six star sell here, just going into the support sensibly we wouldn't enter the short until we get below the support here we get the stop just above this pivot we get the six star sell on this candle here then it pulls up a little bit finds resistance and then and actually plows us right down so that's our stop at this pivot point here so we work out the risk to reward one to two to the next short-term support and resistance so great risk to reward gotta go for it one trade one win this is during the european morning uh great looking win there does find support at this short-term support resistance zone and then it pulls back up to find resistance at this previous zone then we get another six star sell now with this six star sell, we've got to have the stop just above this pivot and above this resistance zone the entry sensibly has to be below this zone that risk to reward is then worked out it's a bigger risk but it's over one to three to the main support and resistance zone so <clears throat> it's a bigger risk here so the distance between the stop and the entry is larger but to the next major support and resistance zone the risk to reward is good you've just got to be very sens sensible um, when you're managing this trade so for me once I get a close below this 50%, the 0.5, I make it risk free at the entry. It didn't test the entry in this case. If it did and it took me out, that's fine. Okay. In this case, it didn't. It then started to move back down again. And we got another four and five star sell signal here. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, you know, do we take the four or five star? No, we're already in the trade. But. We do get a six star trade here. When we pull back up, we've got a lower resistance level there and we get a stop position. We get a six star buy, go, or we go on the five star um, signal here, just below this candle. Again, risk reward to the main support and resistance zone is massive. We've got a very small risk to reward here. We can go again, once you get uh, to 50%, make it risk free. Uh, you know, 100% here finds a you know a quadruple bottom, you'd get out. Um, or from that first trade here that we came down on this trade with a bigger um, stop and entry, 
we're at 100 percent as well there and again we're finding those levels finding support so you get out so there's you know, there's no you know the risk is minimized there and then moving forward we then get a five and six star buy for those asian traders um we get the entry just above that support and resistance zone the stop just below this pivot we've got a risk to reward of around about one to 1.5 into that zone that's good enough for me go for it the beauty of this one is once we get up through this zone it acts as support this is a natural place to put your trailing stop to see if you can get a runner at this point of these highs here we were about one to three so 300 percent profit times risk that's a really great trade so as you can see over a two day period just less than two days between the main support and resistance zones just identifying those short-term support and resistance zones every single trade has been a winner whether you take them or not some of them were quite a large risk but this first one was very small risk for a big reward maybe you wouldn't have taken this one but then <clears throat> when you get these other uh, signals here with a smaller risk uh, you you would have taken them and then this long here so there are plenty of opportunities you just need to frame your chart and hopefully this helps and more videos more video vlogs that I do will help in the future